as a single parent, um, I think it's really important to acknowledge the failure that that it is. Like, not to whip yourself and not to, like, torture yourself or punish single parents, but there's no transcending a problem that you don't acknowledge. There's no transcending a failure that you won't face up to. And children need a mother and a father if they can have one, fundamentally. And their true mother and father are generally the best. Because the true parents are the only people that that know why the child exists in a sense. And this is not a trivial thing. Like, there is a story that the child wants to see completed. There is a conversation between the parents that produce the child that the child instinctively wants to see completed in the most positive way possible. Because their their personality is very much, it's unique, but it, it's built out of their parents' personalities. And as they try to integrate a healthy personality, they're trying to take, they're trying to form their own constellation from the best aspects of their parents' personalities. But where the parents have values that are in competition or conflict with each other, this produces a catastrophic uh, tension for the child who's got a, is trying to integrate something where the two values are explicitly opposed to each other. It's just, it's catastrophically bad. Um, and even where you have a good divorce that's fairly, like, um, you know, just benign, not too violent or terrible or, you know, painful. I mean, as much as a divorce can be painless. Um, and, and the parents have some kind of communication. There's no open warfare, right? That's good. But it still sucks for the child because the child, there's a, there is an instinctive conversation that the child wants to see. And that's because the parents of the child are the only people who know why it exists. Like, this is the special thing about your parents, your biological parents, right? They're the only two people on the planet who know the spiritual reason for your existence. Like, what emotions produced you, what you know, kind of what vibe you came out of. And it, and if there's only one parent or if there's two parents and they're not in communication and they've got slightly different values and they can't communicate, like it's, like we deal with it. It's not the end of the world, but it it's really shitty. Like, and I'm, I am really, I feel really guilty and ashamed of being a single dad. Like I'm not whipping myself about it anymore. And I'm, you know, I mean, I guess I'll find somebody probably Although, it, you know, it's like I'm not planning anything. Like, like I'm just trying to get my shit together. I don't want to get with the same woman over and over again, so to speak. Um, and, you know, it's like I'm doing all right here. I've got help. And his mother's helping a little bit from a distance. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I just, you know, I, I didn't expect to be a single parent. I didn't even expect to be a father. And... I've just grown up in this culture that valorizes single parents to such a degree that I'm realizing it's a little bit unhealthy. Um, and I, I don't want to vilify anyone because I get why where the valorization comes from. It's because single parents have been vilified. But I think at some level, you need to acknowledge, like as a single parent, if you are one, like the failure that you've made, you know, like, and that you've, you know, you've produced a life in a, in such a bad way. Like, it's just it's just evidence of selfishness and blindness. Like, it's like, and this is, you know, I'm applying this to myself. Um, I mean, my son is now six and he's getting sort of too conscious to do this. But, you know, we separated when he was like one. And every time that his mother and me were together with him. It was heartbreaking the way he would hold our, both our hands together. Like, like he just, his entire being wanted to unify us. It's just, it's what kids want. Divorce with children is terrible. Like, and even where it's the lesser evil, we need to admit 
that for it to be the lesser evil, it means we were greedy or stupid or fearful in the way we got married or partnered. It's no joke who you impregnate or who you let impregnate you.